So last slide. Uh, some lessons so far. Uh, and the thus far is really the operative term because I continue to learn every day. Um, know who you're working with. If you enter into a partnership, don't just do it over a beer and like call it good. Like spend time before you actually really kind of commit to that, right? So understand who it is you're working with, what drives them, what motivates them, why they're doing it and to have an exit strategy as well. Raise money at the right time. That doesn't mean immediately, right? Um, and that also doesn't mean too late. So have a funding strategy for your startup and adhere to it. And be lean, but don't be stupid about it. Exhaust non-dilutive financing. I don't know if you guys know, non-dilutive means that the, the money does not take away from your equity of the company, right? So it's grants, it's loans, it's, it's uh, prizes. At Shepard, we raised 120,000 of non-dilutive funding before we ever went out for any sort of dilutive. We built a company, a really true active company with exclusively non-dilutive, and that was here in Ann Arbor. And there are, there's more non-dilutive here now than there was when I was doing this. Be aware what comes with money. Like people asking you what the hell you're doing now. Right? So, you know, it isn't as if, you know, they're just going to leave you alone if it's an equity investor. And, and understand that if you want to pivot, if you think it's the right thing to pivot, and you have equity financing, you're going to have to run that pivot back by, by the investor, more than likely. And sometimes that can get hairy. Know the type of business you want. Everybody, um, uh, you know, is like, you know, there's, there's this really you know, sexiness around uh, high growth businesses, high tech businesses, right? That's what I do, right? I, I love it. But that isn't for everybody. Some people should be looking at lifestyle businesses. Consulting's great for some businesses. You know, some restaurants are fantastic. You know, lifestyle businesses like that are great too. That's actually the foundation of our uh, kind of economic base is not high growth businesses, right? It's the retail shops, it's a brick and mortar. So just, you know, make sure that you know what your skill sets are, are right for. Don't le let your ego get the best of you. This is really easy to let happen. You get some funding, make a cool product, you think you're a badass, right? But man, you can really quickly have that fall and you have you fall on your face, right? I've, I've, I've spent some time uh, on campus over the last couple, you know, year, or about the last year or so, and I've noticed uh, a little bit less humility than I would like to see. And I think you guys all need to kind of keep, that, keep an eye on that. Develop a long view. That means is have, an, have a strategy that's more than just three months out, six months out, even a year out. What's your, it's sort of, you know, uh, cliche, but what's your five-year plan? But you actually should know. You should have an idea, right? What is it, if I enter in this business, where is this, where am I going to be? Is this where I want to be? And understand that bumps in the road, which are inevitable, don't necessarily have to disturb that. It could be just a bump. Don't panic when you fail. Um, I've had a number of failures, right? And it's okay. It's good. You learn from them. I'd rather see, I'd ra I'm, if you come to me as an entrepreneur looking for an investment from us and you tell me that you've had a failure, I'd say, fantastic, awesome. What did you learn from it? Don't be embarrassed. Feel good about it. Because it actually means that you're trying, as opposed to people who say they're you know, entrepreneurs but don't actually do anything. Find true and authentic mentors. This is probably the, one of the most important things. I've been lucky enough to have these I worked hard to get them. You guys should work hard to get them. Have mentors that are actually looking out for your best interest and aren't doing it for some ulterior motive. And have them be truly valuable, 
mentors. Finally, commit, commit, commit. If, if a company comes to me and says to me, I'd love to get you know, investment, have you guys lead, maybe raise 500,000 around it, and I say to them, great, um, what's your team look like? Well, you know, my partner and I, we're doing this on the nights and weekends, you know, because I can't leave my job. So, you know, that's tough, but man, that's not enough for me, right? Commit to it. Do it. Right? Yeah, it's a big jump to, and you guys are in a different spot than a lot of the guys that I talk to, but, you know, people like to have kind of a risk mitigation strategy where they're working on a bunch of different startups, kind of see which one will go, some sort of like financial like strategy there, but it doesn't work like that. Right? You commit to something you believe in and you go for it.